All right, guys, welcome back. Uh, we got a new project going today. You guys saw you guys saw my trailer build last time. Well, I sold that thing. It's gone. Bye bye. And we're starting a new build today. Can be a quick one though. Should be all done in this video. That right there is a 22 foot long trailer. Look at that. One, two, double axle. All right, so we got a double axle boat trailer here. 22 foot long overall length. Two inch bulldog hitch, new lights, new wiring, new jack, new wheels and tires. Well, I don't think there's wheels and tires in there, but uh, new paint. And I don't know if you can see it from over there or over here, but it's got brakes on the front axle. Now they're not hooked up, and I probably won't hook them up yet, but they're there. So, anyway, this guy, you see, I already got my angle iron here. Got a couple pieces down right there as well. This guy, we're going to. Uh, Build us a little uh, frame on top of this frame and deck it, and hey, looky there, car trailer. But anyway, gonna build us a, uh, it's gonna be a uh, boat trailer conversion to car hauler. We did boat trailer conversion to utility trailer, now we're doing boat trailer conversion to car hauler. You guys stick around. All right, so the first thing we gotta do, we're gonna roll this thing in the garage, and we gotta take these bunks off, and that roller, because I'm not gonna be needing them, and I sold them, so. So let's get this uh, let's get this trailer in the garage and get those parts off of there. So we got that taken care of, the bunks are gone, and our roller is gone. So, <clears throat> the next thing we're gonna do now is uh, we need to get these brackets off that the bunks were on. Because I'm gonna run, actually those two might be okay. I'm gonna run these across, and I need to make sure that they're out of the way. Those white ones in the back definitely need to come off. So, uh, we'll get to going on that. And then also, this right here, I'll have to measure again and see what length I want it to be. But uh, that little guy right there probably is going to have to come out also, which the wells on it don't look great, so I really don't care about taking it off. I'm not going to use it. So, But uh, yeah, so this angle iron is 20 foot, and what I originally wanted to do with this trailer was make it a 16 foot utility trailer, but then I got to looking at it, and it would really be better utilized as like an 18 foot, and then I'm thinking about adding a dovetail to the back. Just hanging it off the back here, a little, like a two foot dovetail. If I was to do that, that would give me a 20 foot uh, car hauler, which would be great. That'd be amazing. Um, so we'll see what happens. We're gonna do the, the main deck at 18 feet for now, um, which should end it somewhere up here. I don't know where yet. Give me room for a toolbox, stuff like that. So, but we're gonna start with uh, 18 foot deck and go from there. So let's cut these brackets off. Got those brackets cut off. Um, these black ones, they're not really sticking up high enough to worry about. I may cut them off still because they're so jankily welded, but we'll see. I don't really need to worry about them at the moment. Anyway, so I think the next thing we'll do is, uh, I think I wanna put the side rails on, just gonna get those in place. What I'll need to do though is cut these fenders. As you can see, the tire's over here, but the fender comes all the way over to here, and I want this as deck space. So I've got a two inch by two inch angle iron. I'd like to do, you know, butt it up right against that, weld it here, and then do some supports. So let's do that next. Let's cut these fenders down. All right, so we got those cut, and you can see what I'm going for here. This is right, and the edge of the, the frame is right there. <clears throat> so basically that just gives me a little bit extra width um, 
for the overall deck width. Let's go over here and put you guys down for a second. All right, so we're looking at 77 and a half, basically. So from what I uh, what I researched, these trailers, these uh, car car hauler trailers, could be anywhere from 76 to 82 inches wide. And there's really not a whole lot more width I could do. Um, I can scoot over more and not be right up against the tire, but I'd like to leave a little bit of room in case you get a little bit of get a, bit, a little bit of movement on it. So I think we'll keep it where it's at. There, it should still work fine for most cars. So anyway. Um, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and weld these sides into place. Make sure that they're all nice and square to each other. What I need to do is these cross braces that go across here, which I'm going to put one on each of the supports that's already there. And I'm going to put another one right here as well, just give it some more front space. So we will uh, we'll work on that next. Well, battery died on me, but that's okay because I was just doing a bunch of cutting anyway. So I got all these cross braces cut. That one right there and this one up here will just be welded to the side rails. But all the rest of them I've got on the uh, factory trailer cross braces. And that's really cool because what that allows me to do, obviously I've got, uh, I can weld it on here. Hadn't welded anything yet, but the side rails. Weld it on there. I got lots of weld seam here available. You know, a little bit extra here. Maybe some here if I can get to it. But, you know, that just makes it a, a big triangle basically. So it's super duper strong. And then even if I wanted to, I don't know if I will, but even if I wanted to, I could put a little boop right there down at that thing on every one of them but those two. And it will make it super duper strong. Wouldn't have to worry about it, anything at all. So back one same way. Um, if I, I don't, I'm not 100% sure if I'm gonna add that dovetail yet or not. If I do, that'll help because it'll just be that much stronger. So um, the next thing I need to do, I need to cut the front frame rail, if you want to call it that, to length on both sides. Um, this battery's not done charging, so I'm going to go throw it back on the charger and I'll cut that and then uh, we'll come back and see you guys. Alright, ran out of welding wire, so I had to go get some of that, but uh, anyway, battery's fully charged. I got these, oh, hang on. Got these cross braces welded in. Looking good. Got these back three done. Well, and I got that one, that one, this one, and that one done. And this one here, and this one. I need to turn the trailer around, my welder won't reach. So, I was actually doing a little bit of thinking on uh, this one here. I'm thinking I might do 16 foot and then just do a small two foot like deck area up here. I'm not sure yet because um, 16 foot boards are readily available, the 18 foot boards are not. So, I'll have to see what I can figure out on that. But for now, we're just gonna keep welding the cross braces. And then I still need to cut those to the length, but I gotta figure out wood on that first. So I guess I will, Turn it around and weld this one in and then we'll start doing some, some looking on that front one, see what we want to do. Alright. So I went, went ahead and did 16 foot. I decided that uh, if I wanted to do 18 foot I could always add that on and then just cut that down and then just run the wood across because it had to have a seam in the wood anyway. So. I'll figure out if I want to do that later or not, but 16 foot car hauler, let me come over here so the light will be better. Maybe. There she be, 16 foot of car hauler readiness. So, <clears throat> next thing we're going to do, a little bit more welding on these side rails. I need to attach them. They're attached right there and then right there, but I ain't got anything in the middle, so I'll do a couple of those and then I'm going to do a couple underneath here. A couple little pieces of angle iron that'll go up and support it too because really I'm gonna do two by ten so this won't be completely unsupported because it'll have that that and then the rest of the board width will be there so shouldn't be a big deal but I'm gonna go ahead and add some extra just in case but yep. got her all oh hang on got her all welded in there though so maybe on this side these don't look quite as good but they work so we'll uh, so we will uh, go from there like uh, next step we'll do, we'll go get some decking and see how she looks. 
and then we'll pick up some paint as well. Alright, went on down to the, the Lowe's Depot over there and got me some, some deck boards. So, um, it's a little bit springy. I was talking about adding those cross braces from there to there. It's a little bit springy, so I think I'm going to go ahead and do that. I got all the material for it, so might as well. Um, these are the two pieces that I cut off of the front. I think I'm going to make those into ramps. I need some ramps. I've got another piece that's over there now um, that I'm going to end up cutting a little bit off of and have three of them. And then I've got a big stick out there still. Might be able to see it. Yeah, you can see it out there. Um, that I'll need to cut and then uh, make me some ramps. And we're just about done with this thing. Uh, saved a couple toolboxes. I think I'm going to put me a full size truck toolbox right there. And uh, possibly a winch later on. Just nothing yet on the winch because it's too much money. But yeah, just come along. So here we go. Got them uh, center braces in. See them there. There. This one over there. A couple back there. Should be nice and sturdy now. It was it was pretty sturdy before. It was just a little bit bouncy. So, but now we're gonna go through and uh, got my screws here. Start screwing the deck down. That's what we're doing next. Ah. Boom, boom, boom. Got her stake down. Almost done. Ah, welcome back. Today, I think we're gonna finish this thing up. So I think I decided, uh, I don't think I'm going to do the dovetail for right now. I uh, just don't really know how I'm going to do it and I don't want to rush it. So I think we're just going to leave it alone for now. I can always do it later. Ain't no big deal. So today, <clears throat> we're going, I got some more angle iron. We're going to be making, we're going to put the piece across the back there. Alright, so that screw right there, that one. I don't know why, but it was giving me trouble. So I'm going to fix that right now. And then I'll cut all these to the right width, or to the right length. Honestly, I was kind of surprised. I didn't realize they were that far off from each other. Look at that. So, they're all flush up front. So, I guess what I'll do is I'll just uh, get those with the circular saw. And try to smash that one with a hammer. And we'll go from there. Alright. So, I ended up just replacing that board. I had another one. I didn't like the crack in it, so I just went ahead and replaced it. And then I got this uh, this piece here cut. Uh, it's not welded on yet, but it's cut, and you can see that it overlaps that bottom one a little bit all the way through. So that should be pretty good. What I'm going to do is I'm going to weld it here on the ends, and I'm going to cut a couple, couple inches of stitch, couple inches of stitch, so on and so forth, until I get all the way down. And then I've got a little piece of angle iron um, that I'm going to put right there for my ramp, or probably up here actually for my ramps. And then uh, one day when I do decide to go ahead and do the dovetail, I will just cut that angle iron off, the small one, and then I'll have this whole, this double stack of angle iron to, uh, to weld onto, and plus all of the trailer that's here as well. So, there we go. Next step will be uh, welding that on. I'll bring you guys along for that. Alright, so I got my ramps built. I started filming it and then started having issues with the camera. Needed charge, needed an SD card, so on and so forth. So anyway, got some ramps. Uh, you know, over there. Got them both made. Got a bunch of angle iron left over and a couple little small scrap pieces. I don't, oh, they're over there. Right there. So now, what I want to do next, I want a ramp holder for this thing, but I don't want the under the bed style. Hang on. So anyway. Uh, I need something to hold the ramps, and I don't really like the under the bed style in the back, and I don't have room for it until I do the dovetail, and I'm not doing the dovetail yet. So, we're going to do something just about like that. I think it'll look pretty cool. Should work alright. Um, I'll probably go up higher just so I don't hit the, uh, so I don't drag the ramp on anything, but I think it'll be okay. So, we're going to brainstorm that now and figure out what we want to do. So, that's what we're working on next. Well, I think I'm kind of liking something like that. Not too low, doesn't stick up too high. Should be just fine. I might be able to fit both of them on the same side. The other one right there. I don't know. I don't know really know that I want them both on the same side. <clears throat> I think what I'm going to do, I've got these small pieces here. I think I'm just going to do something like that. We'll weld right here on the bottom side, and then up here we'll just hold it. Might have a problem bouncing, I don't know. We'll, 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 uh, we'll try that out and see what we like. Alright guys, welcome back. 
uh, we got the trailer all finished up. I uh, was having some trouble with the footage there at the end, so I uh, didn't get any of that. Sorry, no big deal. There she is, got the ramps made and mounted. See, I got those there. Uh, I got my angle iron underneath. Hope you guys can see those in the sun. Got some bungees holding the ramps down just so they don't bounce. Uh, got the back piece on and the back angle iron on. Plus this little angle iron pieces to make sure that it's nice and strong. And there we go. I mean, what else is there to do? I'll add the dovetail later. Um, still got to figure out my geometry on that, but I will add it. Just nothing yet, but there it is. I've got some. Uh, I've got a winch on order and some D-rings on order. So once I get the winch and the D-rings in, I will paint it. And then that's about it for a little while. I still want to get a toolbox for right there. Just kind of figuring out what size I want and everything else. But yeah, there we go. So I'm pretty happy with it. I know a lot of you guys are probably like, Mason, another trailer, but this one is a cool trailer though. You know, it's, it, it was worth doing. The other one, maybe not so much, but I'm pretty happy with it. So um, we'll get to using it here pretty soon. You guys stay tuned for what's next.